with in-person school starting for our children this year after being home for a year plus a lot of kids are very stressed now mind you there's always a few that are excited and thank god they are but for the rest of them they're stressed and parents you may feel like what do they have to be stressed about you know we just got back from an amazing summer vacation you know they haven't really had to worry about anything but parents, they're absorbing everything that you felt in the house. So if there was any job loss, if there was any loss of lives, if there was any stress of any kind, and God knows there was plenty of that going around for all of us, no matter how happy or how sad or whatever, we all felt it. We all, you know, COVID was a magnifying glass for each and every one of us. What do I mean when I say COVID was a magnifying glass? Well, COVID magnified everything that was already happening in our lives. So if we were struggling, COVID made it bigger and made us realize where our struggles were. If things were good, COVID magnified that and helped us realize how blessed we really are. That's why COVID was a magnifying glass. So the way to deal with them is to acknowledge that they feel the stress, acknowledge that it's normal, that they feel nervous, that they may feel anxious about going back to school after working virtually and being at home. And parents, may I please encourage you to have realistic expectations of your kids this year in terms of their school performance. So yeah, of course we want our kids to pass, but you know, take the pressure off. Understand that they're adjusting back to something huge. Your child's mental health is much more important than their grades. So just be calm, be patient, stop putting the pressure on them, make sure they're okay. If possible, get them a therapist, make sure you're taking care of yourself. And you know, you can do simple things like grounding, listen to the sleep hygiene music, among others. Also keep an eye on your kids as the weeks go on. You know, make sure they're not isolating themselves in their rooms, which again, they'll do if they're depressed or anxious. You know, if they get angry or have angry outbursts and get irritated easily with you and they seem like they're mouthing off on you, they're actually, that's a sign of depression and anxiety in, in adolescence. And kids, kids will mouth off and get angry instead of like, you know, being sad. I mean, they do that too. Watch out for tummy aches, watch out for fears that, you know, you're like, what are you afraid of? It's not a big deal. Those are all signs of mental health. So talk to your child, make it okay to acknowledge what they're feeling. We'll all get through this together.